the art song. One of the most distinctive forms in romantic music is the art song, a composition for solo voice and piano. The accompaniment is an integral part of the composer's concept and it serves as an interpretive partner to the voice. Poetry and music are intimately fused in the art song. Many of the greatest art song composers, such as Schubert, Schumann and Brahms, were German or Austrian and set poems in their native language. Among the favoured poets by these composers were Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Heinrich Heine, and the German word Lied is commonly used for a song with German text. Lied means song. Topics were yearning inspired by a lost love, nature, a legend, or other times and places, haunted the imagination of romantic poets. Thus art songs are filled with the despair of unrequited love, the beauty of flowers, trees and brooks, and the supernatural happenings of folk tales. They are also songs of joy, wit and humour, but by and large romantic song was a reaching out of the soul. Forms for the art song. They could be strophic, through composed or modified strophic form. Strophic form is when there is the same music for each stanza in the poem. So each verse will have the same music. It is repeated. A, A, A. Through composed is when the music changes. There is a writing of new music for each stanza. And modified strophic form is when it is a combination of strophic form and through composed form. The Earl King by Franz Schubert. It is a musical setting of a narrative ballad of the supernatural by Goethe. Goethe's ballad, in dialogue almost throughout, tells the story of a father riding on horseback through the storm with his sick child in his arms. The delirious boy has visions of the legendary Earl King, the king of the elves who symbolizes death. Schubert uses a through composed setting to capture the mounting excitement of the poem. The piano part with its rapid octaves and menacing Bates motif conveys the tension of the wild ride. The piano's relentless triplet rhythm unifies the episodes of the song, that's the different sections of the song, and suggests the horse's gallop. And here you can see the relentless triplet rhythm, the repeated octaves and the scale passage ascending. This is the introduction. By imaginatively varying the music, Schubert makes one singer sound like several characters in a miniature drama. The terrified boy sings in a high register in a minor key. Three times during the poem he cries out, Mein Vater, mein Vater. Each time the boy sings in a musical outcry that is intensified through dissonant harmonies. To convey mounting fear, Schubert pitches the boy's outcry higher and higher each time. The reassuring father sings in a low register that contrasts with the high-pitched outcries of his child. The old king who tries to entice the boy has coy melodies in major keys. We start with the narrator who sings who rides so late through the night and wind. It is the father with his child. He has the boy in his arms. He holds him safely. He keeps him warm. The father now sings in a low register. My son, why do you hide your face in fear? Father, can you not see the old king? Says the boy, the old king with his crown and tail. My son, it is a streak of mist. This is the old king 
Sweet child, come with me. I'll play wonderful games with you. Many a pretty flower grows on the shore. My mother has many a golden robe. Notice the major key that the Ul King sang as he was enticing the boy. Notice the change in the accompaniment when the Ul King is singing. Won't you come with me, my fine lad? My daughters shall wait upon you. The boy, father, father, can you not see Ul King's daughters there in the darkness? Notice the boy singing higher each time to show the anxiety that he's having. So each time at higher modulation. Swiftly, he holds the moaning child in his arms. With one last effort, he reaches home. The recitative. The child lay dead in his arms. The deeply moving climax of the Ul King comes when father and son arrive home and the galloping accompaniment gradually comes to a halt in a bleak heartbreaking recitative that you heard that allows every word to make its impact the narrator tells us in his arms the child is dead a recap the son sings in a minor key and higher range to express fear the old king sings in major keys and contrasting accompaniment to entice, express excitement in order to lure the son. His final words are sung in a minor key when he takes the son, shows a certainty here. The father sings in a lower range when assuring it is in a major key, but when he's showing concern it's half major minor keys, and when there is acceptance of his son's fate he sings in minor keys. The narrator ends with a recitative unaccompanied for emphasis and played pianissimo. For harmony, there's frequent use of modulations to illustrate the different characters. As tension builds, entrances of the sun or all king are in higher keys. So the rise in keys shows an insistence going from closely related keys to more foreign keys. There's also an increased use of um, chromaticism to suggest a quickening of the horse's galloping speed. So he uses this, these modulations and chromaticism to build tension, to create instability. Dynamics. There is a wide range of dynamics. It starts forte to show excitement. When the Earl King first sings, it's PPP. It's soft and enticing. Um, when the sun also starts, it's PP. And then as the anxiety grows, there is accelerando and it gets louder. Louder. There is also use of sforzando and forte piano for to show stability um, sorry to show finality and cre increase anxiety and tension the texture it's mainly homophonic a thick texture with continuous fast movement of the piano the relentless repeated octave tremolo the use of rubato and these accelerando to show the growing excitement the triplet in the horse's gallop unifies the song and creates the tension of the ride and also a sense of urgency. There is subtle changes of rhythm for each character. Tone, color and pitch used to express characters' feelings and depicting different characters. Piano accompaniment also serves to unify the different episodes of the song. Poetry and music 
are intimately fused in this art song. Using the through compose setting to capture the mounting excitement of the poem. Although the melodic motives recur, the harmonic structure is constantly changing and the piece modulates within characters. <laughs> 